you obey my instructions at all times. When it's time to break, you both break clean. Defend yourselves at all times, and the best looks to you both. Touch gloves. Well, the second fight here of the night, here on before the belt at the Utilita Arena in Sheffield. Round the monster, one. Lely Butterjee in the blue corner, the exciting Londoner, former junior amateur star fighting out of the Newham ABC. He's a Maltese from his dad's side. I think another, just asking you there, Barry, another famous East End Maltese fighter, Charlie Magri, from that part of the capital. So if he can follow what Charlie Magri done with his career. I, I think Joe Cordina's family as well. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Joe Cordina. Well, they can fight all right. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. There's every place to go for holiday, <laughs> just don't start a fight. <laughs> yeah. What have you made of the, the start of Lily Butterjee's pro career, Junaid? An explosive one, clearly. Just like the opening round of this fight, he's starting off very well and carrying on as he needs to go on. Um, but very explosive, hitting the body. What's impressive for a young man, he doesn't rush any of his work. You just see there, he's just, he has a long, loose jab, but he's, he's, he's sitting on the back foot so he can just take a little lean back. Then, he, then as the guy come forward, then he throws a nice little right hook, a left hook. But nothing's rushed. He's making sure he gets the, the technique right. It's hitting the target clean before he throws throws another shot and moves his feet. Yeah, I mentioned his, his second fight against Artem, and he was uh, he was a little bit Artem Sparta. He was just a little bit guilty of trying to close the show. He was loading up a little bit, but I don't mind that. I said that on the night. You know, you want to see that eagerness to impress. You want to see that spite. There's, there's a lot of potential there from, from Butterjee, there really is. But learning all the time, he's still a, still a young man, 19, but working nicely here, nice yeah. straight shots upstairs. He's boxing really well here. Judgment of distance already is fantastic. Picking his shots rather well, starting with the jab, going through with the one-twos and here and there, going through around the sides. I feel like he's, he's doing rather well this round. Yeah, very calm, relaxed, composed. You can see he packs a punch and he's only going to get stronger. Still only 19, incredible. So a lot of physical development to do. That was a nice, he missed with a one-two and landed yeah, the left hook after Barry. It's because the way he threw the right hand, he had to lean back for the left hook to bring the body back. That's why he, that's why he made space for the left hook. Really good little combination there. Yeah, you can see again, very oh, aggressive shot. on the front foot. Yeah, that was a lovely shot. Just miss him with that right. I, again, I don't mind that. You, you, you know, I'd rather see that. I'd rather have to contain this kind of spite from a fight than have to go looking for it. And again, just showing good variation, that right uppercut, the left hook. He it's really is a talented fighter, Barry. It's really a little, really little good little um, pocket of, of real pressure work here from Butterji. Really good work. Seems to be enjoying, enjoying the round as well. Into round two we go, and you can see in the corner, he may have just caught the glimpses of Al Smith and Eddie Lamb. Very, very good, experienced team. So they can and offer and a calm corner as a well. Very which is calm. Very corner. good for a youngster, especially a youngster like this who, who you know, good skills, but is aggressive. You know, too much, too much mayhem in the corner might make him rush his work. A strike check on the front foot. Yep, yeah, he is game. Comes to fight. He wasn't given the opportunity against Jimmy Sainz. He was just over him, all over him like a rash. He really was. Landed some really big shots. It was a lovely left hook that went in. A good variation again shown from Butterjee, just up in the tempo now, this is good, good work, oh lovely, two shots to the body, followed by a left hook upstairs, turning the screw now, Barry. The acceleration of pace in his work is fantastic, isn't it, for Butterjee? All of a sudden, he hits it with a good shot and then the left hook whips across, Janine. Yeah, I'm liking the fact that he's going through the gears now, he knows he's comfortable after the first opening round and what I'm also liking is the fact he's going to the body, a lot of prospects seem to just headhunt and... That's not the case with Butterjee. And trying things out as well. You just see him move his front foot there, just on the outside of Strychek's front foot, trying to find openings. And like I say, in that fight against Artem Sparta, it was just a little bit, I wouldn't say one-paced, but 
you could have changed the, the tempo a little bit and we're seeing that adjustment here and that's signs of an intelligent fighter and when he well it's lovely body shot there from Pertigy but when he comes forward as well when he throws that one two he really turns his shoulder in that right hand as well his real intent in the in the work he's doing but again, look how impressive it is, the pressure and the quality and also the work rate without ever once rushing a punch. Oh, it's good work, good pressure, good variation. Really, really up in the tempo here, Junaid. Up in the tempo, stoppage looks near with a minute to go yeah, as well. So, yeah, I feel like a big finish to the round will do him good. Yeah, good pressure again. You can hear, brought a lot of support of him. They're getting behind him, manager Lee, and really, really excited about this young man done a lot of sparring with Danny Dignam, Sam Noakes, really holding his own. Josh Kelly as well rates him highly. Spent some time sparring, lovely jab, and you can see the good schooling coming from that famous Newham Amateur Boxing Club in East London. And that jab just makes strike check recheck and reset every time, doesn't it? He ever thinks about mounting an attack, that jab just whaps in his face. Has to take, has to, has to reset, try and go again. And Bertie just doesn't just doesn't relent with that pressure oh, here with that front foot. Jab. That's a lovely jab, just as you're saying that, Barry. Beautiful shot and then the the right to the body and the, the speed of foot to miss the the counter left hook coming back from strike check. So impressive. He's going to be in some really good fights, but G for sure. Two very impressive rounds from Lely Butter G, the 19-year-old from East London. Been the aggressor, he's shown us a bit of everything as far as shot selections concerned, head, body. Really good work, and that jab's been very impressive. Strike check, like I say, just the four fights stopped just the once against the former Repton star, Jimmy Sainz. There'll be something, no doubt, that Butterji will try and compare himself to he'll try and get the finish no doubt the way he's going about this barrier I wouldn't be surprised no. if he was to get the, the stoppage what he's doing exactly what saying he's not allowing strike check to get into the fight every now and again strike check tries to mount an attack but just got but he's so close to him and so confident that he just blocks and counters straight away puts him under pressure it's almost like strike check's got to throw a shot to keep him away but every time he throws a shot he gets hurt yeah like i say strike check was stopped by Jimmy Sainz in his second fight. He then lost again after that, but on his, they say, on his feet, mind. On his feet, yeah, it was. And uh, like I say, lost again straight after that, but you're only as good as your last fight. And he did win his last fight via stoppage in the second round. So there's a bit of form, but in this contest, he's levels below, and that is no disrespect to. Uh, the strike check it's just the class the know-how the spite oh big right hand from butter g what a three, shot that was four, fantastic five, six, seven, eight. well he measured it with the the lead left hand the right hand followed straight down the pipe what a shot from butter g he's all over strike check now he's on the front foot we're seeing that variation the uppercut slips in he tries to throw a left hook back strike check but he's really under the cosh here even after the knockdown he's still not rushing his work he's still looking to pick his shots which i'm liking a lot very good work that, that knockdown that was just perfect technique that was yeah. a real long one too just punched right through the tag with that right hand that was a beautiful shot and right. that body shot there from butterji he looks so big he looks so strong physically so strong for such a young man that right hand so measured and calculated like you say barry Heading. Great variation as well. Body to head. Yes. Head oh. to body. Oh. Well, the, right, the referee's got to have a look here. There's some big right hands coming in. Yeah, he's, he's doing some good work with that right hand. It's just the variation. The shots are raining in from a, every angle. A sustained attack here from Bertie, and the referee steps in and stops it. Yeah, just taking a moment here, regrouping. Another right hand again, getting close, oh lovely right uppercut, left hook. He's done well to survive, strike check, he really has. Massive round, very good round for that. see a strike check. Just look through look it. That's a great shot, you just, you just see the, as the, as the, the right shoulder and the right hip turn together when he throws the shot. Pushing off that back leg, that's proper stuff, that's the fundamentals, you know, in its glory there with and, that right and, hand. And it shows the power, Janaid, as well, look. The, I do well to, to hear 
the bell to end this round, that's for sure. Strychek, if he follows up what we've just seen in that third round. Butterji, so aggressive. See this in his last fight, we see it in the debut, always looking to impress, excite, get the job done within the distance. You mentioned the word excite. He's 19 years of age, and the fact that he never, like, and Janae mentioned it, he didn't like, didn't know, the fact that he knocked him down, he didn't get overexcited and rush his work, and I think he could have stopped him if he would have sustained pressure, referee would have stepped in, but I'd rather see him controlled than being rushed and making a mistake. So I think, you know, the, the, the thought of not, of, of being within yourself and being aware of what's around you in a situation like that shows a maturity beyond his years. And I think he's mindful of that he's got six rounds. He's there to break down. I feel like it could come at any point in the fight. That's why I used to box, but I thought we were boxing 15 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> yep, turning the screw again. There is still that patient approach, though. He's picking his moments. He's not getting greedy, not getting sloppy. You're seeing that nice left to the body. Again, trying to drop the hand so he can look for that right hand again upstairs. The problem now for Strychek is he's afraid that his hands go because he don't want to let any gaps appear. But with that, if you come as just a literally a movable target to hit. I think the uppercut's there for, for Butterji as well. Just chopping down a lot with that right hand. He's kind of reading it slightly, Strychek. He's getting that left hand up, just blocking the shot. When he works the body. What really good, what's really good with Butterji? is the fact that, yes, he's on the front foot, yes, he's aggressive, but he's so composed at the same time. Yeah, everything's on his terms. And look, we want to get carried away. We want to see our prospects look look exciting and, and looking to close the show in style every single time. But there's going to be tougher tests, but you can only beat in oh, front man. of you. And this is all part of the learning it, process. 19 years old, Barry. For 19 years of age for your third fight, and he's boxing a guy with a, with, you know, with a two and two. That's That's pretty good going I thought yeah I did better than that but I mean for these <laughs> no. No, it's not this good no I think it's good, it's good matchmaking it's not risky but it's still you know the guy try check if given opportunity try check will give you a hard fight if you can and like I say coming off uh, a second round stoppage in his last fight try check but completely second best here what I've been impressed with as well uh, amongst everything is again how strong he is physically but for, for such a young man, he's only going to get stronger. See, for me, the impressive part of it is, is composure. I think, I think the, the mental side, but he's, again, he just feels comfortable. He's not rushing it. I think he's really... The maturity in his work for a young man. There's a lot to like with Butterji, and I feel going into the next two rounds, he'll be looking for a stoppage, definitely. Well, fair play. I did not think Strychek would hear the bell at the end of this fourth round, but he has credit to him under the cock. Round five. Well, we didn't think we was going to get this far, did we, after that third round, Junaid? Nah, just like Barry Jones said, probably let him off the hook in the third round, but, sorry, the fourth. But with two rounds to go, I do feel a stoppage is coming. In some ways, like you say, Barry, you've got to be impressed with that fourth round. The, the fact that he didn't go hell for leather. You know, he was patient. He did bide his time. He didn't make any silly mistakes. He didn't get greedy. And already now you can see he's just up in the tempo a little bit more in this fifth round. Yeah, but he knows you can hurt him now, doesn't he? So he knows you can you know, just pick the shots, take his chance. But, I mean, I would say, I have no experience in this, but you let a guy off a hook too long, you know, you let him back into the fight. I mean, I hope my whole career was that way. But you, you let him back into the fight and you might regret not, not again, when you have the opportunity to finish him, you didn't take it. So, so I, but again, these are all learning experiences for him. He's going through the, the stuff now, they're in the corner, time to stay calm. And I do think the maturity in his work, I keep, I keep saying the same thing, but it's true. It's been the most, he's 19 years of age. You're meant to go crazy and make mistakes and rush your work and try and show off. You're meant to do all those things, but he's not. Yeah, and proving to be a little bit more difficult just because Strychek's really gone into his shell now. In that third round, he was still letting shots go, still game, still full of ambition. But now that fight has been completely, completely beaten out of him, if you like. Now it's down to Butterji to find the opening, set the traps. But that's what you say about you know, going through the gears a little bit, you know, just a little acceleration in your work. All of a sudden you explode, you explode with a four, five punch combination. That's a good right hand. Yeah, solid one, two. It was a nice jab as well, just before that one, two, to the body, just mixing the shot up. Again, an opportunity there, Junaid, as I see a cut to the left eye of Strychek. Just an opportunity and an opening to throw the uppercut, I feel. 
for Batterji. He's picking his shots rather well and he's not rushing his work. If anything, it's harder for him to get the stoppage now with his opponent being in survival mode. Sometimes you want them to open up and then you can capitalise on the mistakes, but with his opponent, he's throwing nothing. Good work again. Head, body. It's an absolute nightmare, that strike check. Getting cut around the left eye. As if Unite couldn't get any harder. Again, the pressure, that one-two. That's been the, the two shots. Yeah, he needs to bring that right hand up through the does. middle now, didn't he? The right hand through the middle, left hook. With the cross. Just Almost. got to lift that head up, haven't you? Just get out of that little that, that defence. Just lift it up to knock it over with the left hook. Yeah, he does crouch down. That uppercut is there. Look, he, he drops down to sort of take the sting out of the one-two. So the uppercut is there. But another solid, spiteful, horrible round, if you like, yeah. from Butterji. On the bill, but let's have a look again at that last round, the fifth round from Butterji. Yeah, nice again, all clean work from Butterji. You know, the pressure's been fantastic from him. You know, he's the one who's dominated, dictated the pace, dominated all the space you know, every round so far. Nice clean straight shots. And, and again, as Junaid said, no, he's no he has a man. Airplay game effort from Strychek from Poland. He is in survival mode, but plenty of opportunities to throw in the towel and get out of here but he's still in there still fighting he's still trying to survive just missing with the left to the body but the speed of shot the tempo again just upping from Butterji yeah just starting to throw the morning combinations there wasn't he there Butterji I'd like to see him go through the gears now with it being the last round I feel like he'd be keen for the stoppage so yeah yeah, though he is only 90, he's been boxing a long time, Butterji. Like I say, boxed out the famous Newham Amateur Boxing Club, seven years old when he joined there. Won numerous titles as a junior, and you can see that pedigree. But like I say, lots dipping of filling out still to do, Janae, but yeah, good work. Yeah, dipping the knees that I saw with the ones who have to put a G from them. Um, it seems to be hurting him, whether it's body or head. Yeah, left to the body there, he just sort of pushed at the waistband a little bit there, strike check, usually indicating he's either complaining it was low or it hurt. That's another opportunity there, I think, to throw the uppercut from Butterji in close quarters. The elbows do get a little wide of the pole. Beat me to it. I feel like he's very wary of the body shots coming from Butterji, and that allows almost the space through the middle to come through with the uppercut. Good work, there. Just rather than that jab right hand, just a looping left hook to spin him around to that onto the right hand there, Butterji. Good body shot as well from him. He just fires back for everything. He just fires back, doesn't he? Strike check. Yeah, he hasn't it's done the that shot. the last couple of rounds, but he is in this last round, Barry, isn't he? Yeah, he's starting to throw the odd shot to the, the body and head, just missing with the right hand there. I feel if he would have done this in the last couple of rounds, certainly after that third round. May have had a better chance of getting the stoppage, but fair play to the pole strike check for, for still digging in and surviving. He's still in there, but I've been very, very impressed from Lely Butterji. He's shown us an awful lot. It's been a really good performance from him, really had real control in everything he's done. And that and thing like that, that you can't really teach that for a young age. You have to go through it, don't you? You have to make the mistake. There's a right hand, you just see the head really shake. Of strike check after that land, he's done well taking it. Good variation. There's that right yep. uppercut, closed the hands up a little, didn't he? Brought them elbows together to stop it really connecting. But the clapper for the last 10 sounds, it's been a very, very good third fight. Nice left hook from strike check at the end of the fight. I have to applaud the game pole for surviving in that contest, the contest where you fought. In that third round, the beautiful one-two, the right hand that drops right it would be enough to close the show, but he was he was tough as old boots, he really was. But Lely Butterji, Barry, what a prospect. 19 years of age in his third contest, boxing a guy who's two and two, you know, coming off a win. That's a really good performance. And it's not it's, it's not always the it's not a, it's not always the win, it's quite often how you win. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action.
We go to referee John Latham's scorecard. It reads 60 to 53 for your winner. He's still undefeated. The Maltese monster, Lely Buddy Jig. Yep, goes Sofrino as a